Daniel is now flying to Iceland for his ultimate challenge. We've given him a week to learn a totally new language from scratch and then go live on national television. Even the locals say that Icelandic is confusing and unpronounceable. The difficult bit is the grammar, I would say, but we have funny sounds where you have nowhere in the world like you do like a sound like this. With the clock ticking, Daniel badly needs some lessons, but his teacher doesn't seem hopeful. There is a myth that it's impossible to learn Icelandic. So the foreigners that I get to teach, they have this feeling. It's like you would say impossible. Impossible for, for, for a human <laughs> to learn this in a week. Just omulegt. That's the Icelandic word for impossible. In a colloquial speak, if a native speaker speaking. Daniel's brain power may have met its limits. First, when you get into a new language, it's like a buzz. You just, that's what you hear. You don't hear words, you just hear And for the ear, it takes time to adjust and tune in and trying to find the sound. It's one thing to learn the language, to speak it, to be able to produce it, to, to actually you know, talk with somebody. Comprehension, actually listening to the language and understanding it. That's, that's something else because it takes time for the ear to actually get used to the totally different sounds. With a day to go before Daniel's live chat show, his teacher's early doubts are turning to amazement. He was like a vacuum cleaner. I can see he was sucking up the words and he was just putting it in his brain. Little by little, hour by hour, I'm just beginning to tune in and hear more and more of the language and understand more and more of it. It's one thing to chat with your teacher. Speaking live to a quarter of a million people is the real test. I have no idea what will come out uh, tomorrow night. If you get too stressed, nothing is going to come out. The seven days are up and Daniel is making last-minute preparations before he goes live on air. Thank <laughs> Uh, Islensk er fyrir mig í, uh, svo fallegg og <laughs> já er fyrir að læra um, á sjó dögum <laughs> uh, þegar ég sé Islendinga tala á Islensku er uh, svo auðferð uh, eins og anda og ég er með Islensku asma <laughs> <laughs> How well has Daniel managed to speak Icelandic after just a week of learning the language from scratch? Astonishingly, it looks like Daniel has pulled it off. I was amazed. He was responding to our questions. He did understand them very well. And uh, I thought he, that his grammar was very good. We are very really proud of our language and then that someone is able to speak it after only one week. That's, that's just great. Okay, Frauta. So Daniel is, is definitely unique. I, I would say him as a genius. And for me, I will never ever get in touch with a person or a student as gifted as he is because it's almost beyond. It's, it's, it's not human. There's no doubt that abilities like Daniel's are extremely rare. World authority on savants, Dr. Daryl Treffert, has spent a lifetime studying the Rain Man phenomenon and is in no doubt where to rank Daniel. My estimate is there are probably fewer than 50 such people living worldwide. I think Daniel's ability is at a prodigious level because it would be spectacular. If that were to be seen in any of us, it would be spectacular. Equally, though, 
Daniel has been blessed with almost miraculous good fortune. The line between profound talent and profound disability seems really a surprisingly thin one. The way Daniel can describe his inner world is giving scientists a window into the brain that they've never had. But the truth is, the journey of exploration is only just beginning. The bigger question is whether we all have some of those abilities within us, and that is what I refer to as the little rain man within each of us. What I do, it isn't, I don't think it's supernatural, I don't think it's something that can't be explained. Who knows, there may be abilities here that everyone can perhaps tap into in some way. Savant Syndrome is challenging us to think in new ways about intelligence and what intelligence is.